My name's Samuel and I'm the new systems designer here at VSPC and today I'm here to talk to you about the new Seagate Firecuda 520 M.2 SSD. Seagate are well known for being one of the best and most reliable brands in the world of storage and that's why they are a popular choice when building our VSPCs. Earlier this year, Seagate released the Firecuda 510, which has proved to have outstanding performance and is currently one of the best M.2 SSDs on the market. However, Seagate have now launched the new Firecuda 520, which improves upon the 510 by adding in the PCIe Gen 4, which makes it up to 45% faster than the previous model. You can now expect maximum read speeds of 5,000 megabytes a second and maximum write speeds of up to 4,400 megabytes a second. Out of the box, the new Firecuda 520 is now compatible with any X570 chipset and just plugs straight into the PCIe Gen 4 slot. The Seagate Firecuda 520 is available in 2TB, 1TB and 500 gigs. And Seagate is so confident in their product that they comes with a whopping 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 with a whopping five-year guarantee. To showcase the improved performance of the 520 over the 510, we'll be performing three tests. So the first test, we're performing a benchmark with Crystal Mark's benchmarking tool. For the second test, we're going to be moving a large file from an external Seagate hard drive onto both the 520 and the 510 to see how much the PCIe Gen 4 has improved the performance between the two. The third test will be creating a copy of that same large file in the previous test on both the 520 and the 510 to see which can make the copy faster. To test both of these drives fairly, we're going to be using the Gigabyte Aorus Pro Wi-Fi X570 motherboard using a Ryzen 7 3700X as well as 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 3600 MHz. So for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is Crystal Disk Mark, a benchmarking tool for hard drives and solid states. We've sped this up 700% for easier viewing. Crystal Disk Mark will perform four tests on both drives and in every test you can see that the 520 comes out on top. So for this test we'll be moving a 39 gigabyte file from an external hard drive onto the Firecudas. We chose to do this test because it is the same test we used in a previous Seagate video. As you can see the transfer times are almost identical when moving from an external drive. The reason these speeds were so similar is because it's maxing out the capabilities of the external drive. So this is test 3, it's a simple copy and paste of the 39GB file used in the previous test. So as you can see the 520 transfers much faster, almost doubling the speed of that of the 510, which backs up Seagate's claims that this drive can increase speeds up to 45%. So as expected, the new and improved version won on almost every test. So if you're looking to add an M.2 SSD to your gaming PC, you have two great options here, with the Firecuda 510 and the Firecuda 520. However, if you want to achieve maximum speeds with the Firecuda 520, you need to be running the X570 chipset. We hope this video has been interesting and helpful. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.